On the vast, desolate expanses of the Eastern Front, where the iron gauntlets of Nazi Germany clashed with the unyielding resolve of the Soviet Union, unfolded a saga of unparalleled barbarity and intensity in the annals of World War II. In the sultry month of August 1939, an unexpected dance began between these two formidable titans. They forged a pact, a startling accord of non-aggression, pledging a decade of uneasy peace. This was the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, a strategic gambit that would redraw the European map with ruthless precision. Through this sinister bargain, the Soviet Union claimed dominion over Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia, and the eastern realms of Poland. In return, Nazi Germany, with sinister glee, set its sights on the western half of Poland. On the 1st of September, 1939, mere nine days post-pact, Hitler's forces stormed across the Polish frontier, heralding the dawn of war in Europe. Yet, within the hearts of both the Fuhrer and Stalin, there simmered no illusions. This truce was but a prelude, a mere pause before the inevitable storm. Hitler, ever the opportunist, cast his gaze westward, swiftly extending his dark shadow over France, Denmark, Belgium, and beyond. Concurrently, Stalin tightened his iron grip upon the Soviet colossus, fortifying his dominion with relentless fervor. Then, on the fateful day of June 26, 1941, the veil of deceit was torn asunder. Operation Barbarossa was unleashed, a colossal onslaught that shattered the Nazi-Soviet pact. From the icy Baltic in the north to the sweltering Black Sea in the south, a monstrous wave of three to four million Axis troops surged forth, a grim legion that included Hungarians, Romanians, Finns, and others. In but a week, German forces carved 200 miles into Soviet lands. The cost was staggering. Within months, 2.5 million Soviet souls were counted among the dead, wounded, or missing. By December, this grim tally had swelled to nearly 7 million. The brutal clash knew no bounds. Executions, mass rapes, and unspeakable atrocities were daily fare. The German Einsatzgruppen, with their 3,000-strong cadre, scoured villages, executing over a million civilians in a horrific spree of mass shootings. However, the German juggernaut met its match in the bitter Russian winter. Hitler's hubristic boast, we have only to kick in the door and the whole rotten structure will come crashing down, proved disastrously false. Unprepared for a prolonged struggle, the Nazis underestimated the vastness of the Russian terrain. Moscow, a daunting 1,000 miles east of Berlin, loomed beyond reach. As German forces neared its outskirts, they found themselves perilously overextended. The Red Army, seizing the moment, launched a fierce defense, repelling the Germans and securing Moscow. This marked a pivotal shift in the war's tide. In 1942, Hitler, ever ambitious, turned his sights to Stalingrad, an industrial linchpin in southwestern Russia. This city, perched along the Volga River, was vital for Soviet artillery production and a crucial conduit to the Black and Caspian Seas. The Battle of Stalingrad erupted into a nightmare of unprecedented ferocity. Over five harrowing months, the city endured relentless bombardment and savage close-quarters combat. Toll was ghastly. Two million souls perished, wounded, or captured, civilians among them. In the end, the encircled German army succumbed to the Soviets, their surrender marking a crucial turning point. From this defeat, the Germans began a relentless retreat, culminating in their ultimate surrender on May 9, 1945, after the grim Battle of Berlin. The collected photographs, brought vividly to life in full color, bear stark witness to the bloody battles and relentless daily struggles of the Eastern Front during this catastrophic chapter of human history. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more content. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends. We appreciate your support. Bye!